All right, we're back on Fast Money. Game on is Take Two's NBA 2K League, the uh, Gaming Giants Competitive Video Game League, launched off earlier this week. Its second annual draft at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. 74 men, one woman, joined the ranks of 21 teams owned by their respective NBA franchises to live a life some now dream of, playing video games professionally as esports athletes. With us now, the man, the myth, and the gaming legend himself. Take two CEO Strauss Zelny. It's a build, big build up. I hope you live up to the thing. <laughs> I've never gotten that before. Yeah. Uh, Barclay Center's huge. I mean, it's unbelievable the growth in esports. Yeah, it's great. And it's our second season. The first season ended with a, with a great result. And everyone's looking forward to the April 2nd tip off. What's the average age of, of those who compete in esports now? Well, the, the competitors are on the, on the young side. So I would say probably early to mid 20s. In terms of the people who watch all across the map, you know, more than 250 million people worldwide consider esports a really important form of entertainment. About half of them, 125 million, they're avid esports watchers. Yeah, and sports are still a big deal with kids playing games, as, as Fortnite is obviously, you know, skyrocketed. I mean, I speak for myself, my own son's, you know, still playing the hockey games, the basketball games, and, right. and, and Madden. Basketball, good. Take it here. <laughs> yeah. Happy to hear it. 2K, obviously. Yeah. But seriously, I mean, it, those are still popular even in the face of the growth of these other titles. Oh, absolutely. Other titles. I mean, we're having a record year with NBA 2K. So one of the things that we, we love is when there are more hits in the market, there are more people engaged, the entire market grows. So we're going to sell more units of NBA 2K this year than ever before. We'll have higher recurrent consumer spending than ever before. It's a new record. And that's at a time while some of our competitors are also doing well. Yeah. Speaking of competitors, talk about Fortnite and Apex and competition and what you think about that, because I'm sure, as you said, you, know, you see that the trends for you are great. So uh, we think that uh, Fortnite is, is, a, is a great thing for the industry. It's yeah. probably brought in a somewhat younger consumer. Um, I, I'm often asked, is that something that's hurt us? To the contrary, no. We've seen the market continue to grow. At the same time that Fortnite has been an extraordinary hit for Ep Epic, we had another record year for Grand Theft Auto Online last yep. year. We had a, a record quarter for engagement for Rockstar Games between Grand Theft Auto Online and Red Dead Online. We sold more than 23 million units of Red Dead Redemption 2 in this fiscal year. So we have, we have great results at the same time that our competitors are doing well. Strauss, you just mentioned units, okay, and that's what your typical investors, they, they kind of understand that for a game maker. How are you monetizing, uh, you know, this new business of esports, or what are the other revenue streams that, you know, investors should be focused on? So the biggest new revenue stream for us and some of our competitors is what we call recurrent consumer spending, which is every form of net bookings that isn't a full game sale. Our goal is every time we put out a title, we have an opportunity to continue to engage with that title over a period of time. And then if consumers do engage, we're able to monetize that engagement. That can be in-game spending, virtual currency, downloadable add-on content, or the like. So that's our biggest opportunity. That's become a quarter of our business in the last quarter. In addition, you mentioned eSports, and it's timely, obviously, because we just had the draft. That now looks to be uh, breaking the billion-dollar mark in terms of the industry as a whole. Remember, most of that still goes to League of Legends, which is not one of our titles. Um, and we have a couple competitors who are doing well. Overwatch is doing well. NBA 2K League is, is the one to watch in our So opinion, Strauss, how, how do you think about add-on content with your AAA titles in light of Fortnite? Is it what you just said? Is it the microtransactions? Is that how you're thinking about adding content in? Is that what we're going to see in everything that we've seen with Fortnite? Is that build out microtransactions for you? Is that the highest opportunity? Remember, microtransactions is spending, and that's a reflection in our view of engagement. What we focus on is making the highest quality entertainment and engaging our customer. If we get that right, monetization follows, revenues follow, and profits follow. And that's been our story for the, uh, the 11 years that we've been responsible for this enterprise. Yeah. Strauss, appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me. All right, take two, Strauss Zelnick. You want to trade it, Timmy? Yeah, I'm, I'm long the stock. It's been, it's been a tough run. And in fact, we're, we're at a place here on valuation. It, it's really, you know, it, it's, it's compelling relative to itself for sure. But trading, you know, just south of 30 times with, with you know, top line growth that frankly seems to be somewhat stagnant. So um, I'm a big believer in this industry. I, I think the valuations are also going to make some of these names start to look pretty attractive to media companies who, as Strauss pointed out, I mean, this has really become a, an esports 
watching story globally. And they both got hit. So I shouldn't say they both. All of them. Uh, yeah, yeah, all of them. Yeah, all of them got sure. hit. And, I, and, and uh, to Timmy's point, this one got hit the hardest. So if you're looking for a rebound effect or some type of reversion, I would think that this is the name that you're going to get. Yeah, and, and here's the thing. So, <clears throat> so revenues are stagnant. The stocks almost got cut in half in the last six, seven months since the all-time highs. But it's got a great balance sheet. When you think about the content they have, trading at three and a half times sales. I mean, to me, this looks like a very valuable and underappreciated asset because it is scarce. There is only one NBA 2K league. And the, you think about all the opportunities that they're going to emerge from this esports phenomenon. To me, this seems like pretty I'm a attractive. Grand Theft Auto guy. Yeah. I cool. have noticed that some, that some kids who got all in on Fortnite have now gravitated back towards the sports games. Not, not only, you know, my own son, but him and his friends, where it was only Fortnite, and now it's back to the sports game. So maybe they're transitory and not that overly dramatic effect. I think the stocks thought. show that and people are concerned about the transitory nature.